Turn your eyes, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed one. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Today's Mass is being offered for Gladys Luna. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who brought St. Louis from the cares of earthly rule to the glory of a heavenly realm, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that by fulfilling our duties on earth, we may seek out your eternal kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem, of Judah, departed with his wife and two sons to reside in the plateau of Moab. Emelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with two sons who married Moabite women, one named Orpah, the other Ruth. When they had lived there about 10 years, both Malam and Chilion died also. And the woman was left with a sister, neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back to the plateau of Moab because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Oprah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, see now, your sister-in-law has gone back to the people and her God. Go back with your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, do not ask me to abandon you or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law, Ruth, 
who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley harvest. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Blessed is he who helps in, in the God of Jacob, who hopes in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. The Lord keeps forever, secure justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the captive free. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. Alleluia, alleluia. Teach me your path, my God. Guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees. They gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. We heard in the first reading today the story about Ruth. And as we listen to that story, maybe we're struck by how human it is. The reading reminds me of something <clears throat> that happened back in 2020. I experienced the loss of several good friends who were actually about the same age that I am. And <clears throat> one after another, these friends passed away. And one of them was a married man who left behind his wife and his children. And for me, you know, it's hard to imagine that scenario and what that must be like. When I was listening to the reading, though, today, it really struck me and reminded me of that situation. It's 
good for us to hear this reading because it calls us to support those who are fatherless and who are widows and to be the light for them. Of course, I'm mindful of my friend who passed and I miss that person. But life goes on and for his family, life goes on. For Ruth and for Naomi, their lives went on. So it's a good story for us to think about today and to remember. Amen. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, that World Day in Lisbon will help young people to live and witness the gospel in their own lives. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that he approaches his 80th birthday, he may know that the, the, the final love of his priests. We pray to the Lord. For a successful installation mass for Father Sean this fall, we pray to the Lord. For those undergoing chemo, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. We remember Gladys Luna, for whom this Mass is being celebrated, we pray to the Lord. We pray for Ashley and Jason, who Father Jeremy is helping to marry, that their marriage would be blessed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for hearing all the prayers that we offer you. We ask that you answer them according to your will. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior, and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Shona Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mass on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we marry to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
With the Lord there is mercy. In him is plentiful redemption. Let us pray. May partakers of Christ, through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
We will be having a second collection this weekend in support of the recent fires that have happened in Maui and Hawaii. <coughs> so I just wanted to let you all know about that. And also, I'm going to Maui in a few weeks, so I will be visiting there. And I know that church that's um, in the news as the, the church that's not burned to the ground. I remember visiting that um, when I went to Maui before. It's a beautiful place. It's amazing that it's still standing. So please keep them in your prayers. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.